We met Elzara Shukurjeev at Marinsky Park in Kyiv, not far from her work. She is the Ukrainian Presidential Commissioner for the Rehabilitation of Combat Participants. The department deals with rehabilitation, psychological, sports and social, because after war people need attention. Elzara's husband Valdar has been defending Ukraine in the Donbass for three years. He decided straight away to go to the front line when we were in Crimea. I supported him because I understood that otherwise he wouldn't feel like a man. In Crimea, the occupational authorities opened two administrative and one criminal case against her husband. Traveling to the peninsula is dangerous for their family. He said on some radio stations that Crimea should be Ukrainian and it will return to Ukraine. This was viewed as extremism. The family was forced to flee annex Crimea in 2014. It was a very, very difficult decision. We realized that Crimea will not be as it was. I still cannot wrap my mind around this. They left their parents, friends and apartment in the peninsula. They were also forced to abandon their tourism business. The family has three children. They're learning the Crimean Tatar language. They study Crimean Tatar culture, history and traditions. We try to ensure that they don't forget who they are. This is my grandson. What's his name? Rustem. Ilmiu Merov only talks to his family over the phone. I have two children and five grandchildren living in Crimea. Four brothers have their own families. Lately they've been saying they miss me more often and are asking me to visit. He often looks at the photos and videos which his son sends him. Here, he sent me a picture of my house. I think my house is the best. Most of all, I miss my home, Bakhtisarai, and Crimea in general. For Ilmiu Merov, the road to Crimea is closed. The occupational authorities sentenced the deputy head of the Majlis of the Crimean Tatar people to two years in a prison colony on extremism charges. His pro-Ukrainian stance could have cost him his life. However, in October 2017, thanks to agreements between the Russian and Turkish presidents, Umerov was handed over to Ukraine. We tried to obtain the text of the decree or some document under which we were released. We haven't been able to get it for more than two years. Umerov appealed to numerous institutions and even wrote a letter to Vladimir Putin. The answer was something like this. To put it roughly, you're disturbing the president's work with your appeals. Even outside Crimea, Ilmi continues the struggle for the rights of Crimean Tatars. He believes that they should remain in the peninsula, even if it's occupied, because it's also a form of fighting. If all Crimean Tatars leave, we'll have nothing to discuss. They could say that the Crimean Tatar people disappeared from the political map of the world. Both Ozara Shukurjeeva and Ilmi Umerov don't see their future without Crimea. They intend to return to the peninsula after its deoccupation. Because it's our home, everyone is waiting for us there, our parents, friends and family. Reported by Olha Volinets for UATV.